Now, this is some good coffee. What is this called? Because coffee. I think in the Philippines, they call it Because coffee. But uh, anyways, hey, what's up guys? Just had some coffee over here at Because Coffee. I'm here in BGC. Here, come, come, come with me, come with me. Let's go. Check it out, guys. Here in BGC, you got a lot of corporate workers. You got a lot of people. It's very exciting, a lot of lights. We got Kuya Paul over here. Here's the thing, though, about corporate jobs, right? You're talking about the nine to five, the grind, right? Having to come to work day in, day out. If you think about it, how we've been groomed our entire life. Even when we went to school, we would wake up, we go to school, raise our hand, went to use the bathroom. Then we would go to the bathroom, come back to class, do our work. You know, the bell would ring. We have recess, we go out and we get to see our friends for like 5, 10, 15 minutes, come back in, you go back to work, and then the bell rings again, you go out, you have lunch, the bell rings again, you come back and you work, bell rings again, you go home, and your life is run by the bell. And we're programmed at that young age to raise our hand, to have a boss. And that's the same thing that we're experiencing now as adults having these corporate jobs. Now, it doesn't matter. I'm not knocking on jobs. Jobs are a great place to start. It's just not the best place to end. Well, this coffee is amazing, oh my God. Let's, uh, let's walk around. Yo, so that was crazy. I'm not even in a mall in BGC and I, I got kicked out from the sidewalk. So like, I can stand right there. I mean, that's cool. Look, I respect like security. I respect the whole deal. But like back in the day when I was living out here, you know, I see like foreigners vlogging in the mall, but now it's like, whatever, all good. This is BGC, it's beautiful, right? I haven't been out here in a long time. I used to live out here in BGC recently, more towards like the plastic area. <laughs> that is huge. How did he fit in there? That's insane. Oh look, we have Aya. Nando. In the house, we got Jay over here. So we are exploring BGC, just talking about corporate jobs, having a nine to five, and really, I guess time freedom. You know what I'm saying? If you're considering leaving your nine to five, you're probably asking yourself right now, how can I leave my nine to five? I don't really have any skills. I don't really know what to do. But here's the thing, look, everybody has a passion in life. They just have to figure out, how do I monetize my passion? How do I turn my passion into profit? That's the key. How do we turn our passion into profit? As I was saying, I used to live here in BGC. Crazy traffic. I had no idea where I was going most of the time. And right here, come, come, check this out. This right here was like my office when I first moved here. It's a Shangri-La. I love this place. If you're thinking about coming out to the Philippines and staying in BGC, you definitely want to stay in the lobby of the Shangri-La because you have the best Wi-Fi. It is so hot right now in BGC. I don't know why I wore a jacket, but I might take it off. This video might get too sexy, I'm just kidding. No, but what I was talking about is knowing where you're going. Here's the thing about knowing where you're going. If you don't have a destination, you'll never arrive anywhere. Like, could you imagine getting in an airplane where the person turns next to you and is like, hey, where are we going? That's ridiculous, that's not gonna happen. Like, if you get into an airplane, you know where you're going. You have a destination. You have to have an end goal in mind. You have to have a target. And that's the problem with trying to figure out how to focus your passion. Could you imagine hitting a target that you can't see? Kind of stupid, right? Now imagine trying to hit a target that you don't even have. You have to have a target, but more importantly, you have to have goals. My point is that if you have the exact location in mind and you know exactly where you need to be, you will arrive. If you don't, you'll never ever get there. You want to know if you need a blueprint in order to build something based off of your passion. All you need to know is what the end goal needs to be. Anytime you're building a company, you have to start with the end in mind because you got to figure out what do I want to happen once I build my company? Do I want to continue working here? Do I want to build a company that's going to allow me to travel around the world? Do I want to build a company that is going to franchise something that I'm going to be attached to for the rest of my life? The only way you can do that is by looking at what you truly love, what your passion is. So if you're passionate 
about going to the beach, nature, then you need to build a business around that. Then what you do is you create an org chart and your org chart is gonna be your blueprint. You're gonna learn that in a book called E-Myth Revisited. In the beginning of building your business, here's the funny thing about your org chart when you, when you start to build your business. There's gonna be you, right, the CEO, and then guess what? If it's just you, there's gonna be the CFO, and that's you. And then there's gonna be the CMO or the COO, and that's you. And then the CMO, and that's you. And then under the CEO will be the president, and that's you. And under the president will be the vice president, and that's you. And under the vice president will be the general manager, and that's you. And the general manager will be the manager, and that's you. It'll just keep being you, depending on what kind of business you're building. But see, the goal is to eventually, you start replacing yourself. You start to look for individuals that have the same vision that you have. And remember, it all goes back to the beginning. Before you started your blueprint, where do I want my final destination to end up at? So when you do that, I promise, that will be your blueprint. You're gonna become very, very successful. The most important thing, guys, is to stay consistent. Because like I said earlier, most people wanna find the fastest route, but there's always a lot of traffic, right? We're, we're stuck in traffic. We're here living in Manila, always a lot of traffic. You have to learn to enjoy the journey. Being an entrepreneur is super fucking easy and it's really not. Being an entrepreneur is probably one of the hardest things you can do in your life, but some of the hardest things you can do in your life become the most rewarding things you can do. I have so many videos, you know, that I took when I lived here, like looking for my first apartment. Like I remember I was looking for my first apartment and it was in BGC. I think I paid like 600 bucks a month for my first apartment. It was like 30,000 pesos. At the time it was 600 bucks. I think now it'd be about 500 and like 70, but it was cool. I lived in BGC. You know, the beautiful thing about BGC is you get to walk around. There's a lot of people that speak English. So that helped a lot. There's a lot of other beautiful places to live other than BGC. It's just nice to be back here. I hope you guys got a lot of information. This raw vlog, because you may be at home right now sitting on your couch. You might be somewhere. Maybe you're in the US, maybe you're in the UK, maybe you are at your job, in your cubicle, on your phone, watching this right now, being like, damn, I wish I could be in the Philippines. See, that was me. Don't get me wrong. I busted my ass. I gave up a $4 million penthouse. I gave up a multi-million dollar ad agency to move to the Philippines, but I did it. And the reason I did it is because I saw a vlog that showed me that you could live anywhere in the world. Then I read this book called The 4-Hour Workweek it really made sense to me is like make US dollars and spend it in pesos. It's been an amazing journey and you can do the same. So if I can do it, you can do it. For more information guys, if you want to move here to the Philippines or if you want to know more about business, guys, follow my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Follow me on social media as well and have a good night. I'm probably going to go walk around a little bit and just enjoy BGC because it's, it's BGC. It's nice and I haven't been here for a while. So yeah. They hate when you elevate The second of losses, I'm handing them out Yeah, I had to go delegate They feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly I had to go Man, this brings back so many memories Yep. You know there used to be like thousand cats here in BGC And I heard a rumor Close your ears if you're a cat lover I heard a rumor that they took all these cats and killed them But then I also heard that they put them in a home somewhere I don't know what happened But like you could like feed the cats You could take care of the cats And then one day they just disappeared It was like a, a cat infestation But man cats are cute I didn't really like cats before Now I have one Sheldon Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory if you Don't watch Big Bang Theory I don't know what's wrong with you This is like the Times Square of the Philippines Bro, I mean you know what's funny like my friends told them, I'll come to the Philippines. They're like, oh, be careful. It's dangerous. I'm like, dude, there's 11-year-old girls walking around by themselves. It's way more dangerous in the U.S. People just come up and shoot you. Here, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's like, look at this. Like, you can't get this in most places around the world. Epic. By doing what I told you to do, like following your passion, or just challenging yourself to do something different, you can jet set to different places in the world and chill out and just enjoy. I believe we're at this place, hold on, called One Bonifacio High Street. I don't know how I know this, but I just have this like feeling that it's close, that it's somewhere. All right guys, so right now we're waiting for the driver. What's cool here is that you can actually get a driver for roughly 180 bucks a month, maybe nine or 10,000 pesos, which is pretty cool. When I first got here, I took what was called a Grab, like an Uber, like a Filipino Uber. The only problem with Grabs is that they would take forever. I think that's our driver right there. So thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Take care. See you on the next episode of my channel. Peace.